this is a fun little activity you can do is uh, with your partner, really. Um, so what you should do for a start is just draw a picture of your room now. Draw what's in your room. It doesn't have to be pretty. You can see this drawing here, the perspective's all out of sync and it's kind of tilted. But that's fine. You just draw a basic picture of your house, draw whatever you want. If you're really not good at drawing, just write down what where things are in your room. Or if you'd like to, in your house, draw a plan of your house. And then have a think about the future. How would you like your room or your house to look in the future? So we see this person now have decided that they're going to make their house a bit more interesting and they're going to add another little bed right beside their big bed because they would like a little place for their cat called Pushka to have a little bit of a, her own little bed there. How about that? That's pretty cool. And then, you know what? Hey, how about a grand piano with a piano in the corner? And a big table. Last time was really small, so in the future I'd like to have a really big table. And let's put a TV on top of that table. Big TV. Might need some cupboard for all my new clothes that I'll have as well. So I'll have a cupboard in there as well. So that's what you can do. That's good practice. And then when you've drawn your two pictures, you describe that to your partner. And they try and write down. Well, they can draw what you've said. Um, so it can be speaking practice or writing practice. Uh, you Okay, I hope you like that. That's a good little tip for you. If you'd like more tips, come and have a look at my, uh, or subscribe even if you'd like to, and find out when all the videos are coming on YouTube. I'll Steve on YouTube. If you'd like some individual online classes, please give me a call, um, or send me an email on I'll Steve, um, or you can send me an email at stephen.nethel at gmail.com.